Hi, welcome to this DCPWare tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install the gimmick plugin for GIMP 2.10. So let's go ahead and open up our web browser and we'll go to this website. I'll put a link to this in the YouTube description as well. So we'll go to this website and you can download this plugin. It's a really useful plugin. I'm going to do some demonstration work on this plugin as well at some point. But for now today, we just want to install the software. So um, you've got GIMP 2.10 for Windows here. You've got it for Linux and you've got it for Mac OS. This is for older versions of GIMP, but right now I've installed the latest version. If you don't have GIMP 2.10 installed, I'll also put a link in the YouTube description to show you how to install that latest version. So on Windows, we can either install a zip archive or an installer file. So let's click on the installer right here and that will download the file. So we've got the installation file here. And what we'll do is open up this folder and we'll drag and drop the installer file into here and we can minimize this window. So we've got the install file here. Let's just right click and give it a quick scan. So we'll use Norton's antivirus and it should come through all fine. It's all good. So we'll just double click and we'll start the installation process. So first thing is going to ask me for the language. I'm going to select English and then it's going to ask me to install here. I'll click next, accept, click next. And this is where the file location where it's going to install the plugins and this looks all correct. So we'll click next, install. So let's just wait for that to install. And now we'll click finish. Just make a little note here. And if we go ahead and open up um, GIMP software now. Let's just close this. Let's open up a new GIMP software. And we've got GIMP installed. I'm just going to drag and drop this example image and click convert. So we've got a sample image here. When we go to the filters, we'll see the new option here for the plugin. So when we click on that, we'll get loads of different options of how we can manipulate this particular image. There's loads of different filters in here. Uh, there's just tons of stuff in here. You can do black and white. You can do all sorts of colorations and manipulation of images you can do some really creative stuff in here um, it's quite interesting the sort of things that you can do within this software right so you can experiment with this and play around with the settings i'm going to go through some more detailed tutorials but you can do simple things like pencil sketches you can change the saturation you can change all of the settings there's like almost an unlimited amount of sort of um options in here right of how you can change images and and you know do some really creative stuff using this plugin so i won't go through too much of it today um we'll go through this in more detail in a future tutorial we can just go ahead and click apply for example here and it will go through and run all of the filters to create this particular example above so let's let it finish that and then we can close this and now we can see the image being updated here in gimp compared to the original one that we had before so that's how you go about installing that particular software and I'll go through some separate tutorials showing you how to use the software on specific tasks. Okay, so let's go ahead and close down GIMP. That's the end of this tutorial and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.